I've been teaching with Argyll UHI for about 20 years now. I teach to uh, schools all over Argyll and Butte. All of my teaching is networked delivery. I've been teaching high psychology for the last 10 years and being part of UHI, remote learning, online learning, virtual learning is what we do and what we do well. You're working with students in different locations and whether that's at school level where we're doing NPAs, we're doing foundation apprenticeships. We try and focus the, the course on what you want to do. There's so many different slants you can take. We are part of that pupil's educational experience during S5 or S6. I think everyone would benefit from like having at least like one class online because there's so many more options like online than there is that in school. I'm still active within the industry, working with the latest trends and but more importantly bringing that into the classroom and, and giving students experience of just what it's like to actually be doing the job. I'm definitely not just a stuffy lecturer who passed his degree 20 years ago and hasn't left the classroom since. <laughs> and you get to experience what it would be like to have like a college or uni lecturer teaching you stuff. So all the pupils log in to the Google Classroom area. All the resources are in there. So all my learning resources, uh, people can submit assignments and uh, pieces of work within that Google Classroom as well. But when it's actual time for our live classes, I just click on Google Meet, it starts a class, everybody else joins in as well. And there we are. We've got people from like Oban, Tarbert, uh, like Campbelltown as well in our like Google Meet. It's you just get to like, build relationships as well with like other people from like different schools. I've got one student who's in Tarbert, two students in Arran. Oban, Lochgill Peds, Helensborough and Isla. Quite a spread. I actually think it's nice having pupils from different schools. It gives a sense of not just the community that you live in, but the sort of wider region that you're part of. When you come into the classroom, we usually gab for five minutes and then we go on with the work for the day. We have cameras on, we have chat functionality, we can share our screens, we can discuss. Because it might be that I'm uh, presenting new ideas or you know new concepts. And then usually what happens is uh, pupils will have a period of independent learning time. So they'll be getting on with something during class time. Sometimes we go into breakout rooms and they'll have a blather about it and they come up with ideas and then they all come back and, and we say, right, what have we got? And we work through the problem together because your ideas might spark my ideas. So it's good to get that round table that they would actually experience when they go into employment in that industry. And um, we also have things like called virtual whiteboards. So for some pupils, they actually really like that and they like the fact that they can contribute to a class and put their ideas forward without feeling too self-conscious. I think it's better than a normal class because it's more self-led. You can set up like how you learn and the environment you learn in. It's very much up to them and I will set work and I will support them and help them as much as I can because once they leave school that's very much how they will be learning. So she knows how to talk to everyone in the class and be able to still have the connection a normal teacher would when they're in the class which I think is really nice of her. Then we come back together and I ask for contributions and somebody comes up with something that I have never thought of before. And I'm like, wow. And I say to them, I say, oh, that's great. I love that, you know. What happens now is we've got a really, really solid relationship between all of the students now. So it's great. Everybody's relaxed. Everybody's talking to each other just as they would within a normal classroom. I think it's nice when you're from a smaller school because if the school's not as big as other ones, maybe, they might not be able to offer you as much, but having the college be able to offer us the different subjects is a really interesting and fun thing to be able to pick. So I was meeting with parents of the pupils from the schools. It was really interesting hearing them say, this has given my son or daughter the opportunity to be able to study a subject that they wouldn't otherwise have been able to do. It was good to hear from the parents. If you were thinking about doing a network class and you're wanting to get into this, but you're maybe a little bit unsure, it's really more about, is the subject right for you? And even if you put off by the fact that it's online learning, it's still like school. So you're still there to learn, which I think really does help. It just goes to show how technology can really help uh, and be a benefit to people in the Highlands and Islands and it does provide an amazing opportunity for people who do want to do it.
just do it if you never try it you're never gonna know what it's like 